What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today we're going to be unboxing this Makita angle grinder uh, with one metal cutting disc. Uh, this was actually a kind of freebie from Howden's. Uh, they did a loyalty scheme where if you went in and you bought more than £50 worth of stuff, uh, you get a sticker and when you collect date stickers you could claim a reward. Uh, much like my tool bag and my Oxpro saw, that was the last one that I got, which was about eight months ago or so, it was a little while ago. This time I went for the Makita grinder because I don't have a grinder and the other two options were a £50 reward voucher for Love to Shop, which you can only spend in certain places, and a £50 fuel voucher, which again you can only spend in certain places. I figured I'd get much more use out of an angle grinder than I would uh, a 50 pound voucher for somewhere. Uh, you did get one metal cutting disc with it and you got the grinder so let's open up the box and see what's in the grinder box. Warning, fit the guard before use. Reading closed manual, fit in guard safety operation. To reduce risk of injury always use the guard and eye protection. Instruction manual, which is very thin, so you got grinder safety warnings, how to use it, etc. Uh, your lock button, all the settings. And then you get your grinder, which is there. So this is a Makita M9502R. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually made in 2017, so it's a fairly old one. They must have had these in stock for a while. Quite a decent locking switch, which if you just push it up doesn't do anything. You just push it up and lift the back end up or push the top end, which is a little bit difficult with one hand. Um, yeah, that's your locking spindle for that spindle, which is there. Uh, Never actually had or used an angle grinder, so uh, this will be fun. We'll get one metal cutting disc, so we're going to be testing it out on some angle iron, I think it is. I'm not sure what it is that I got. So I've got this aluminium bar, which was left over from a job. We're going to chop through that, which it should just fly straight through. We've also got this fairly heavy angle iron. Um, I think it's some kind of steel, I don't know exactly what it is. We'll see if it is steel and we're cutting it and we get a lot of sparks um, from there. The reason I chose to get an angle grinder, main reason, is I want to get into knife making. I want to be able to use this to make some basic knives because it just looks interesting to me. It looks something fun to do and relaxing and I can make knives out of my old circular saw blades. So I've been saving them up pretty much for doing something. Uh, so now I've got my angle grinder, I should be able to make a mess and not make any pretty knives, but have fun trying. Okay, so I've just had a quick look over the instructions on how to change and put on the blade, the blade, the disc. Nice thick cord there. So apparently, you just undo that, and they did this really tight from manufacturer. You get your key, and you undo. <sighs> wow, that was tight. So that bit doesn't come off, I'm assuming. No, nope. this little bit with the brushing, looks like these little ridges help to grip stays in there, you get your disc, that fits on in between there, and then you get this one and it goes with a little ridge down. Screw that on, press your button, that's not right. Okay, maybe it doesn't go that way. Hmm, that seems to tighten all the way down then. Not quite. That doesn't tighten anymore. Surely that's not right. 
よいしょ。That seems much better. And you get your handle, which just screws on either side, so left or right.、Uh, I'm probably going to put that on the left. At the minute, you swap it basically depending on which job you're doing, and、I'm、probably、uh, actually going to be using it that way, maybe. And then grind this way as well. So let me get some eye protection and probably a dust mask as well. We'll plug it all in and clamp some bits of metal down and we'll give it a go chopping it up. Right, so we're all plugged in and. And it all works quite well. So. Like I said, I'm going to get some ab section on, I'm going to get a dust mask on.、Uh, we're going to clamp these pieces here to the edge of this table here, and then we've got nice areas to be cutting off, and it can just drop down, and I can be at arm's length. So we'll get that set up and we'll test it out on both the angle piece and the round aluminium. Alright, guys, so I've got my dust mask on, I've got my ab section on. We're just going to chop this. Just a couple of times along this area, got it clamped nicely tightly to my workbench. So、uh, let's see how it goes. I'm actually going to go across the top as well, just to see. A little bit warm. Yeah, it gets really warm. It's, it stays really cold when I use my Evolution chop saw. When I use grinder, it gets really hot. But it's quite a thick grinding disc, so、uh, I think this is more for flattening out than cutting. Might need to get a few more discs with it.、Um, give it a go on the angle, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I've actually put a pair of gloves on and roll my sleeves down because I'm expecting this to spark quite a lot. I'm going to stand. At arm's length away from this、uh, to try and protect myself as much as possible. So let's see how it goes. So obviously, I want to try and keep myself as safe as possible while cutting this. And when I got through here, the guard was hitting. The angle and I didn't feel fully safe with using it like that, so I just changed the angle that it's on and I can go from the other side. There we go, that's a bit bent with、uh, how hot it got. I'd say that probably would go a lot smoother if I actually had a thinner cutting disc. Rather than just the really thick one,、uh, I didn't quite line it up perfectly there. This is still quite warm, I can feel it through the gloves.、Um, like I say, never used an angle grinder before.、Uh, with any tool, there you go, nice, smooth, clean cut in there. It's nice and thick, that, so、uh, I'm thinking I might be able to get something out of this in the future.、Uh, I need to clean off all this paint and just grind it off.、Uh, and then, I don't know, there seems to be quite a decent amount of carbon in there with all the sparks that were going out, so I might be able to use that for something down the line. The Makita angle grinder that I got for free from Howden's. Nice little bit of kit.、Uh, I'm probably going to use this not loads and loads and loads, but. I am going to use it and it's going to be very useful in the future.、Uh, I need to get a lot more cutting discs.、Um, there is loads of attachment for these, like you can get、uh, 
I think it's Arbitec planar bits. So it's uh, so it being a flat disc like this, it's a bit cupped and it's got cutting bits and it's designed for wood to carve wood. So that'll probably be one of the discs that I get. Uh, the other discs I'll probably get a thinner cutting disc so I can cut things a lot easier with that. Uh, I also get a load of sanding flaps and things like that for this. So then we can use this for all kinds of different bits and pieces. So if this video was interesting, if it helps in any way, if you've got a Makita angle grinder, if you want to shout at me for the way I handle it and uh, tell me everything I'm doing wrong, then feel free. Uh, and I will see you in the next video guys, thanks for watching.